Welcome back, everybody, to That's Racist. That's racist. That's racist. That's racist. That's probably racist. That, I actually don't know. Oh, wait, further inspection concludes. That is indeed racist. Welcome back, everybody, to Crows of Judgment. And today we are talking about this lovely article from Bounding Into Comics. Psychology professor Chris Ferguson accused of slavery apologism and uh, white supremacy for arguing orcs are not racist. Now, before we begin, I, I think it's probably fair to let you all know that if you look at an orc, if you look at this guy right here, or this individual right here, and you see black people, that's racist. So guys, what are we talking about? Uh, yeah, so uh, psychology professor Chris Ferguson basically argued that orcs are not racist. Uh, gosh. Uh, where do we even begin with this article? Chris Ferguson, a professor of psychology at Stetson University, authored a piece on psychology today where he argued that orcs were not racist. Orcs are fictional creatures. They're fictional fucking creatures. <laughs> They're not even human. They're a humanoid creature, but they are not human. How, how? Now he's under attack from progressive elements for defending his view that the fictional race of orcs, fictional, fictional, as seen in popular games like Dungeons and Dragons, as well as most works of fantasy and literature, are not a racist concept. Fictional! Fantasy! Fictional! <laughs> Last week, elements of progressive nerd culture attempted to describe the orcs as racist. Many called these elements out for what was an obvious projection on their part for making such wild comparisons. Yes, because if you look at an orc and you think that is a black person analogy, you are the racist, you dumbasses! Dr. Ferguson also responded to the description by writing an article in Psychology Today with the headline, No, Orcs Aren't Racist. Because that is, that is 100% true. The article goes on to break down where the recent outrage about orcs stems from pointing to a comicbook.com article and a trending tweet. It goes on to point out three of the common arguments people were making in an attempt to paint orcs as racist. Dr. Ferguson then breaks down each argument proving why they don't work, and don't make sense. He concludes his article writing, no, orcs aren't racist, and D&D isn't promoting racism. So I was, I was like, wait, 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 comicbook.com? No way. No way you wrote an article. Yes, they did. Why orcs are problematic in Dungeons and Dragons. And don't worry, folks, we are reading the archive because I'm not giving them the fucking rage bait click that they are so fucking desperate for. A 2016 pastor from the Dungeons and Dragons rules book has fans once again talking about a long-standing problem with how orcs are depicted in the tabletop game and other pieces of fantasy lore. Earlier today, the term orc started trending on Twitter in the United States. Yes, because people on Twitter are fucking weird. As D&D and fantasy fans debated the issues surrounding the classic fantasy creature. Fantasy, not reality. <laughs> Fuck. The conversation started when Quinn Welsh Wilson criticized a passage found in Volvo's Guide to Monsters that noted that the orcs could only develop a limited capacity for empathy, love, and compassion. Welsh Wilson prefaced their post with a casual racism trigger warning, which set off a heated debate over how orcs and other fantasy races are depicted in modern fantasy tales. This weekend's discourse surrounding orcs isn't exactly a new conversation, but it's one that's always worth discussing. No, it's not! It is not, Christian Hoffer, you rage-baiting jackass. Anyways, guys, as you can see, this is just one more attempt of the weirdos on Twitter to get attention by virtue signaling to themselves about how everything is racist, including fictional fantasy fucking creatures like orcs. After publishing the article, Dr. Ferguson was accused of being a slavery apologist and a white supremacist by Monkey's Paw Games' Nicholas Nesk and the official Swordsfall Twitter account. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, 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 this actually happened. Now, and, and this Monkey Paws game, I, I love this individual because I put out the statement that if you look at orcs and you see black people, that makes you a racist. And what happened? Of course that happened. LMAO, at Psych Today, at CJ Ferguson 1111, taking time out of a busy schedule of slavery apologism to talk about how orcs aren't racist, because they are not, you dumbass. I'm glad all the white dude racism understanders have logged on to tell all of us 
I, I'm going to guess uh, 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 B-I-P-O-C, what racism is and how slavery works. Yeah, uh, here's the thing, jackass. I'm Arab. Guess what? Arabs have been sold into slavery as well. You fucking degenerate moron. This is not about being white or black. You are just a fucking idiot who wants attention on Twitter because you are thirsty for it. It is not racism. Orcs are not racist. If that's what you see when you look at an orc, you are the racist. You are the fucking degenerate. You are the idiot supporting white supremacy because you look at big, hulking, uh, green-skinned, uh, monstrous individuals who have a lack of empathy, limited intelligence, and you immediately think, well, that's a black person. That makes you the racist, you dumbass. Well, looking at what he retweets, that's a shitty F dude. Well, guess what I'm never going to play. Hey, did you guess yet, guys? Did you guess yet? I don't know what you mean, Brandon. He is obviously a well-respected psychologist, and any retweets of white supremacists or white supremacist logic is clearly not an endorsement. Uh, well, here's the thing. This seems like white supremacist logic, wouldn't it? That you look at a big, hulking individual with limited empathy and limited intelligence, and you think, that's a black person. Wouldn't that make you the person supporting white supremacy, you fucking dumbass? Just a regular, degular white dude with opinions about racism and slavery on the internet. Just a regular, degular dipshit with opinions on slavery and racism and fucking orcs like a fucking degenerate on Twitter. Oh, I forgot. When you're white, you can claim that those things don't matter. I forgot for a second the role of white. I forgot for a second the role of Twitter where everything is racist. That's racist. That's racist. That's racist. And this is all racist.